So in our today's class, we are going to continue from the yesterday's things. That is what uh, yesterday, I think at last we studied the centripetal force. Am I correct, everybody? Yes, All of you, please respond. Yes, the centripetal yes. force is the force. We all know that which is always perpendicularly to the what? The force which is acting perpendicularly to the direction Center. of direction of velocity. Direction of velocity. And always it is acting towards to the what? Centripetal force is always towards to the center or along the radius of center, center or along the radius. Okay. So it is perpendicularly to the direction of that is what velocity perpendicularly to the velocity or it will act always towards the center or along the radius. That is what EFC, centripetal force is to call as. So if you want to calculate the centripetal force, what is the formula, everybody? FC is equals to centripetal force is equal to mv square by r into mv square velocity by r. square r speed square r. This speed r velocity magnitude of velocity magnitude speed. of velocity. So it's the speed magnitude of velocity divided by r. So r means what, everybody? R means radius of circular body. So, so the centripetal force is depend on three factors. One is mass of the body, and second one is depend upon square of radius of sorry square of magnitude of so that is magnitude, magnitude of velocity, of velocity. Magnitude of velocity. depends on radius of okay. sir it is inversely depends on sir yeah, it is inversely proportional to radius now as i told you i will teach you how to find how many times it will increase so let us take now so first case let me take the centripetal force which is acting first fc1 i will take it so ft fc1 when r radius is r radius is r and velocity sorry magnitude of velocity magnitude of velocity you put it in a bar then that is called as magnitude okay everybody magnitude of velocity is v and as well as mass of the body is m then what is the centripetal force fastly mv square by r am i right or wrong let me take this is the equation number one anybody having any doubt please respond i love you now if m become double, if m become how much, guys? m become how much? Fastly. m become double. 2m. Double. Okay, double. Then, new centripetal force. The new centripetal force, Fc2 is equals to, in place of m, what do you have to write? Fastly. In 2m. 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 Till magnitude of velocity is same. V square divided by r. So this one I can write as a 2 into mv square by r. So 2 into mv square by r is equal to how much? Fc1. Am I right or wrong? Yes. All of you. So the yes. new centripetal force, new centripetal force is equal to 2 times of actual centripetal force. Am I right or wrong? Everybody? Yes or no? Please respond. All of you? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, Samari understood, Sanjay. Prince sir, one doubt, sir. Ask me. Sir, uh, that is 2m square, 2mv square by r, sir. Uh. How did you, if you take the 2 out also, it's only 2m, you know, sir. 2m not, 2mv square by r. We have only mv square by r. Clear? Yes, sir. The mv uh. square is apart, sir. Yes. The m has 2. m into 2, which is... Mari, 2 is the magnitude, Mari. Double so that I can write separately. Nothing wrong in that. Yes, sir. But you are doubling only the magnitude of the velocity, yes, sir. I am not doubling magnitude of velocity. I am doubling the magnitude of mass. Magnitude of mass only become double. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. sir. Now you listen. Now, if velocity, magnitude of velocity become double, means speed will become what? 2v. Do you understand everybody? Please respond so that then new the new centripetal force is equals to be very careful. Mass is mass, m is constant. V become what everybody? V become 2v square divided by r. So if I do that, m into 2v square means what? 2 square v square divided by r. Unless you solve, you cannot. So 2 square means what, guys? 4 m v square divided by r so m v square divided by r is equals to what fastly everybody new centripetal force is equals to how many times of 
original centripetal force four, four times. times of four times of fc1 understand agalya sangamitrai yes yes sir that is what yes, mr kishor now only wake up inga not feeling ashamed wishing good morning now after 6:10 okay next the same way what about the radius so now radius if r become r become to r remaining thing suppose r may become half you should verify r may become three times you are, you can all remember that okay mr linge is always late i don't like this so then new one observe very carefully so new centripetal force is equals to m is constant same speed is also same but r become what r become what to r, to r. so now fc to new centripetal force can i write this one by by two it is can i write as a one by two separately am i right or wrong all of you please respond yes, 1 by 2 into mv square divided by r so mv square divided by r is equals to what firstly mv square divided by r is equals to what original centripetal force so means in the sense of new centripetal force is half of the original initial centripetal force am i right or wrong firstly everybody yes all of you yes yeah so this is how the centripetal force varies that is why we are saying centripetal force is directly proportional to mass centripetal force is directly proportional to velocity square and centripetal force is inversely proportional to home inversely radius. proportional to radius radius that is what so radius decreases force increases radius increases force decreases So other than this, remaining both are directly proportional. Hope you all understand this one. Anyone having any doubt, you can ask. Me. Clear, everybody? Yes. Yes. Everyone, Alfin, that is what. Yes. Sir. Firstly, so this is what about the centripetal force. What is the formula for centripetal force, everybody? Centripetal force is equals to mv square by mass into square magnitude of velocity yeah. square by yeah. r radius. Square of reading, Mari, not. Magnitude of velocity square, square of magnitude of velocity, square of yes. magnitude of velocity divided by radius. Clear? Galia, yes. Purima. Sir, can you please down the screen? Yes. yes. So please proceed. Any doubt? Ask Mr. Darshan. Understand, Mr. Darshan? Both Hasanis. Yeah. One of the Hasani is from Vairam school. One Hasani from our school. Okay, so just make remember that. Mr. Lingesh, are you there in meeting? I want to know. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, shall we discuss one more interesting thing? The next type of force. Still, I don't know. Abhiram is not joined, and one more is not joined. Who is that? I want to know. Okay. So now, if you notice it, the next type of force which we are going to study. Mr. Sam, can you hear me? The next type of force is centrifugal force. It is not centripetal force. What is the force, everybody? Centrifugal. centrifugal force. Actually, this force is not real. Real life, it is not existed. It is just only our imagination. Okay. So let us make. What is centripetal force? Instead of saying the definition, I will explain the example. So from that, will you all able to form the four definition? Everybody, yes. Yes, sir. All of you? Yeah. Yes, sir. So for example, all of you observe very carefully. Passengers seated in a car are suppose you are you are, you are having a own car. Now you people are all traveling in a car. For example, you seated inside the car. You will experience. You can notice it. when the passengers are seated inside a car they all will experience an outward push push in the sense of you can see during any kind of brakes or emergency situation or your suddenly your father will uh, start the car or suddenly apply the brake have you all noticed it you people will fall away from your positions am i right or wrong all of you please respond yes sir yes yes sir. can you understand or not all of you so when you are sitting in a car for example there is a car totally the four persons are sitting so observe 
when these persons are sitting inside a car they always experience an outward push anything you can start a car if you stop a car sudden brake or whatever it is you people will be pushed away from your position am i right or wrong everyone yes or no you all people yes, will sir. put the seat belt now mm. when the car is moving along a circular path let me imagine there is a circular path and imagine that your car is moving along the circular path along the circular path or turns around a curve there is a deep road there is a curve you can imagine anything now you tell me suddenly you people will fall towards your mirror or into like a backward or forward what what side will fall like into that how you will fall whatever suddenly your father will take towards. it towards so you all will fall away, always fall away from your position that is what towards to the side doors and all am i right or wrong everybody yes please please respond ra nobody yes, yeah so a circular path or if you turns around a road or car you can see the outward push is actually a centri centrifugal force so the force which is making you to push away from your position so when you are traveling in a circular track you all people travel in a car you can see when your father suddenly take a turn you people will fall towards the window am i right or wrong all of you that is only away from the position so we all people will experience that when you are traveling in a car or a bus that is what outward push the outward push this outward push only is causing because of what everybody the outward push is because of what force centri centrifugal force fugal force clear now the passengers are not actually physically pushed by an external agent we are not actually pushing okay ma when you are traveling in a car suddenly your father will take a turn u turn or when you are traveling in a circle you can see that always the person will moves away he is he is trying to fall away from its position he is externally he is pushing outside that external who is making to push that force only we is to called as what force everybody we is to called as centripetal centrifugal. centrifugal force now the person who is sitting inside the car you can see they are not actually physically pushed by any external force there is nobody who is pushing him from the inside to fall into the outside so but they experience this force because of one reason imagine because no because they are in what position the car is in what motion the car is in accelerating accelerating, accelerating motion so because of accelerating motion so as we all knows that suppose the car is in circular track at every point what will happen something will changes something will changes something every point what will changes everybody direction, direction. as direction will change we can say velocity changes so rate of change of velocity what we is to call velocity changes acceleration. velocity changes means body is said to be accelerated motion or non accelerated motion everybody body is said accelerated motion so because of this acceleration nothing is there those who not understand so observe very carefully suppose when your your father is traveling in a straight road or you people are riding a bicycle you can see or you are traveling in a car or a bus or whatever it is when you are traveling in a straight road you people will be sitting in a sitting position am i right or wrong everybody all of you we can sit in a normal position now suddenly you can see there is a deep curve completely path is changes now see till here your velocity is remains constant because you are in a same direction but here what is happening at every point the direction will change am i right or wrong everybody yes or no all of you yes sir so, yes, sir. suddenly when your car comes to this point you can see because uh, you all people will suddenly suppose your father will take a turn now you see all of you will try to move to that side am i right or wrong you will go away from your position you will experience some outward push am i right or wrong all of you will you experience yes, or not 
so, so. The, uh, you will all will experience this outward push this outward push only is actually due to the what due to the centri centrifugal force the centrifugal force who is is your uh, your relative or your brother or your father is they are pushing you towards to the outwards no actually it is happening because of what because of our car is in what motion our car is in accelerating motion so they will experience the the person who is sitting in the car they will experience the force because they are in a what they are in a accelerated motion accelerated motion so during this accelerated the outward push what we are experiencing that is only called as what force we used to call everybody centrifugal centrifugal but there is no physical there is no physically pushed force it is not actually existed because of accelerated motion we are experiencing a outward push that outward push we are considering as it is acting because of what centrifugal force okay so this centrifugal force also we can called as remember my word again you will heard this word in future called as pseudo force what is to call centrifugal pseudo force pseudo force, pseudo force. Pseudo. called as pseudo, pseudo force. force okay now write it centrifugal force definition it is the force which acts it is the force which acts towards the center or away from the center everybody away from the center away from the center or towards the center all of you push outward push away, so that, from, away from the center or towards the center away from the center, from the center. Away from the center. right it is the force which acts away from the center of a circular path it is it is the force which acts it is the force which acts remember class 11th motion in a motion in a straight line and as well as newton's laws of laws of motion you will get laws of motion chapter number 4 chapter 4 in physics part 1 11th class class 11 you all will get the derivation for pseudo force centrifugal force and pseudo force you are going to get a derivation and the the formula how we are obtaining f is equals to mv square by r you will learn the derivation there no, it's not necessary now and you no need to worry about it also you just learn that sir clear everybody yes sir yeah yes sir understand everyone yes sir right. what is the return what do you have written it is the force that acts a force which acts away from the center of a circular path which acts away from the center of a circular path circular path this force is equal to equal and this force is equal and opposite in direction this force is equal and opposite to the direction can you tell me it is equals to whom which is acting towards the center what is that called as the force which is acting towards the center We used to call that centripetal, centripetal force. Centripetal force. force. The force which is equals to the centripetal force and it is acting away from it. Okay, so right, this force is equal and opposite in direction to the centripetal force. Opposite in direction to the centripetal force. Opposite in direction. Opposite sir, in direction. Sir, yes, ma'am. How we are saying the forces acts away from the uh, because it is the pushing the... outwards, correct? It is making us to because see centripetal force always trying to drag towards the center. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. But this outward force is making us to push away from us, like we are falling outwards. Do you understand? Outward push it is. Yes, sir. That is what you should remember. Okay, guys. Sir, okay. this is equal. Sir, this is equal and equal and opposite to the direction of opposite to the direction of whom? All of you. Opposite to the direction of centripetal force. Centripetal force. Okay. Centripetal force. Full stop. Centrifugal force is a. Centripetal force, centrifugal force. 
सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स इज ए सूडो फोर्स इज ए सूडो फोर्स एंड नॉट ए रिएक्शन फोर्स एंड नॉट ए reaction force sir why sir what is the meaning of this let us discuss so we are i think you all people are experienced already in our daily life newton's third law action is equals to reaction am i right or wrong everybody there is a equal and opposite reaction action is equals to reaction means suppose if i hit anybody the same person the same force whatever i exerted the same force will exert on my hand also we will study Reflex. newton's third law Newton's third law: action is equals to equal and opposite reaction. So, but here, if you notice it, centripetal force is acting towards the center. That is why there is a equal and opposite force called as centrifugal force. But it is not actually the reaction of centripetal force. Do you understand it, all of you? It is an imaginary force. We are imagining it. It is not actually existed really. It is not a reaction of centrip centripetal force do you understand everyone it is happening because of what because of our body our car or our bus or whatever it is it is happening because of what reason accelerating motion we are experiencing like somebody is pushing us away from us that is what outward push but actually nobody is there do you understand everyone that is why it is called as pseudo force okay mr mari it is not the reaction of reaction of any kind of force that is very very important understand guys all of you it is not the reaction force okay agalya mr lingesh yes Sir. that is so yes, this is what about the centripetal force so you can take the example what you can write it passenger seated in a car experience an outward push passengers sitting in a car experiencing an outward push experiencing an outward push when when they will experience guys when they are moving in a what path when they are moving in a circular path circular path or turns around in a turns around in a curve or curve road that is what when the car moves along a circular path when the okay, car seated from first yes. passenger seated in a car passengers seated in a car experience an outward push experience an outward push passengers seated in a car experience an outward push comma when the car moves along a circular path when the car moves along a circular path or turns around a curve turns around a curve the outward push is a what force actually the outward push is only we used to called as what force everybody centrifugal, centrifugal force. force next time when you are traveling in a car you all should experience this and you have to tell me whomever you go you all should tell me either you are experiencing the outward push or not everybody do you understand all of you yes so every one of you must tell centripetal force right this outward this outward push is a centripetal centrifugal force sir when the car moves along a circular path or turn or around, a, a curve, around a curve around a curve pull stop this outward push is a centrifugal force okay mr kishore can you hear me this outward yes, push is a centrifugal force centrifugal force full stop next try right. passengers are not physically pushed by an external agent passengers are not physically pushed by an external agent not physically pushed by an external agent but why they are experiencing guys because the car is in what motion motion the car is in what motion everybody car is in Accelerating motion. motion. Right. Passengers are not physically pushed by an external agent. Mr. Sanjay, do you understand? Sangamitra, Gokulraj. 
passengers are not physically pushed by an external agent comma but experiences the experiences the pseudo force experiences the pseudo force as they are in an as they are in an what motion in an accelerating car so because of car they are living because of accelerating car they are living they are experiencing this outward push that is only called as centrifugal force anybody having any doubt you can ask me clear guys yes yes sir. yeah yes, next sir. next one this is what about centripetal force and centrifugal force next rigid body rigid body so you all people know rigid bodies you might be understand ah uh, you you can experience mr gokul ras centrifugal force you can experience in bus also today you are traveling to school you can experience that okay whenever you can see that after that uh, r angle mr driver will take uh, bus into the main road do you all remember everybody yes yes sir na namana samudra yeah namana samudra after at that point you people can experience the centrifugal force or else railway gate after he will take the deep turn have you noticed it all of you yes, by that time you yes, see sir, turning in lena valak yes yes turning in lena valak there also you all people will fall towards the mirror you will experience an outward push like somebody is pushing you like uh, going away from the window like that you will experience am i right or wrong you take it but if you are traveling slowly you won't feel much outward push but if you are traveling very faster and if you take a deep turn what will happen you will fall very very more away from your position am i right or wrong outward push is higher because our car acceleration is very very high or our bike or bus acceleration is very high do you understand guys all of you yes sir yes okay Yes, yes. You can experience. I mean, Lingesh is saying that that college after Monjan college after you can see that is extremely turn. Yes, sir. Now there suddenly some lorry or something will come. You can see that maximum outward push you can experience. Am I correct? So you all can experience. Today onwards you will experience wherever you goes. I know very well. So next one we are going to study what rigid body. Okay. So what do you mean by rigid body? Any one of you. i want to know sir. for example so a body which is very strong ah uh, okay that's fine what do you mean by rigid body means all of you observe very carefully i will give you a some kind of a object so for example your mother prepared your favorite sweet or uh, something a murukku or something so she forgot to mix a proper composition sometimes you can see the murukku will become extremely hard you cannot able to bite am i right or wrong yes sir yes yes sir so yes, sir. by the time you say what is this mummy it is like a rigid a rigid object nobody cannot able to eat is not even soft and crispy we will say or not you are applying yes, the sir. force with your mouth you are unable to eat for example you might be all experience while you are eating mutton some pieces are very very smooth to eat but some bones like some flesh will be there on the bone or something like old goat or sheep is very difficult to chewing also am i right or wrong all of you yes, yes sir yeah so that is what rigid body suppose i am having a big stone i will say mr sam to push or do something mr mari mr gokul mr sanjay mr lingesh mr kishor mr nivedan everyone mr pranav all of them whatever they are doing they cannot change their shape am i right or wrong all of you yes sir yes, so sir. they are all are applying the force they are all exerting the force due to the force is there any deformed structure of a body any deformation in the structure no no yes, sir so no, that sir. is what even though the number of forces are acting even almost 10 people are acting there is no change in the structure of the body that body we used to called as what everybody we used to called as rigid body that is why we say body. when we are studying the chemistry solid liquid and gaseous properties who is a solid who is having a rigid structure 
solid solid solid, solid. 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 remember ah pagalya we studied or not yes That's sir it. okay yes, so write it now somebody is having doubt let me ask so centri centrifugal force no formula no formula for uh, your level understand mr uh, kishor no need to worry next some other having doubt sir because of centrifugal yeah, abhiram is asking sir bus accident sir because of centrifugal force no 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 centrifugal force causes bus accidents okay ma it, you will experience that force like outward push it will never make any accidents clear abhirami okay sir so how does getting of cars happen what uh, shivani can you repeat the question sir if the car travels so fast and in the hmm. turn sometimes they would skid no sir yes they will be skidding they will be fall away that is not because of centrifugal force because of out of control understand they are unable to restrict the speed so that the tires will take a sudden turn understanding so for example i'll say you see i am having a tire which is traveling in a straight line understand uh, shivani like this that uh, the tire is traveling now sudden turn if you are in out of control the speed is in out of control the tire should change the position how the tire should change slowly need to turn slowly need to turn and so that the tire will turns into this position but if you are in a very over speed or over fast what will happen that the tire is like this within a fraction of second the tire will turns into this position so that's all it is called as skidding you can see that pulty the people will make uh, the car will uh, hit and it will goes under the ultas like turning 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 that is what will happen clear it is not because of centrifugal force okay it is because of out of control and a sudden change of position of the wheel actually the position of the wheel is like this now entirely see like you are in a, like this this road your wheel is traveling you are in out of control suddenly the turn means the road will be like this the wheel should come this position so within a, it has to take some time to turn it wheel suddenly you cannot turn completely if you turn suddenly that's all clear yes sir all of you so it will make to fall the car and car will become ulta that is what will happen inverted car will become okay guys now have you all understand what is rigid body everybody clear so what is rigid yes. body rigid body which will not deform under the action of number of forces that is called as rigid body write it a rigid body which is not like a stone so we can take a rigid body a rigid body so who is having a rigid body solids liquids or gases solids solid. 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 but exemption is there suppose sponge if you take structure will change it doesn't mean that it is not a solid it's a solid but it's a flexible solid we cannot do anything so rigid body which is not which is not deformed deformed under the action of action of a force action of a force or number of forces number of number of forces is known as a rigid body ellame puriyama everybody clear what is rigid body means okay that is what now again mr kishor doubt okay. sir do we feel do we feel uh, uh, centrifugal force in bike riding yes mr kishor we can when you are driving very faster you will understand it when you are traveling normally you won't experience the centrifugal force but when you are traveling with a high speed definitely you will experience the centrifugal force me myself i will experience every day sir but in uh, yes ma'am train only we can get the most uh, even we are in uh, low speed where in train sir while changing the track yes sir yes. by while changing the track we will experience it because that position of the track is completely changes am i right or wrong that is all okay yes now hasini lakshana is asking example for rigid body you can take anything like somebody is asking biting the biting the spoon if you try to e e eat the metal spoon is it possible everybody yes we are applying no, no, so that is what so abhiram is saying the biting spoon is a rigid sir yes 
that is a spoon is a rigid surface of course spoon can be cut by metal uh, sorry some uh, uh, like we can melt it by heating we can cut the stone by hitting with the hammers but doesn't mean that that is extremely that's normally i'm saying rigid body means which cannot be deformed under the action of forces that is what we used to call as rigid surface ella me puriyama all of you yes sir yes the next important concept we are going to study this is the most important one which we are going to come throughout your uh, education till 12th class that is what momentum so please write it momentum the symbol of momentum is p what is the symbol of momentum everybody p p so let p. us first understand what is momentum then you can see that so now i am having a tennis ball what is this ball everybody tennis ball Ball. Okay. Now I am having a football. So who is in bigger in size? Ball. Ball. Football. So observe very carefully. So you, whom it is easy to stop? Tennis ball or football? Whom? Suppose football. now I will hit a tennis ball. Football. I will hit a football. Ah, uh, football you can stop. Ah, uh. both are moving tennis with the same ball. velocity. Listen, the velocity of this tennis ball is v. and the velocity of the football is also v both velocities are same velocities of football so the tennis ball is equals to velocity of the football now tell me whom you can stop easily that is what my question sir uh, football, football sir because it's the greater in size than the tennis ball sorry mari mari why mari like this eh? now you tell me tennis ball i will give you i am not giving a cricket ball tennis ball and football who is having a greater mass football or tennis ball football football mass of a football is greater than mass of a tennis ball you are saying mari for example there is a bus there is a bus and uh, and uh, sorry let me take there is a lorry and there is a car both are traveling with the same velocity both are traveling with the everybody same velocity okay velocity of a velocity of a truck and velocity of a car now you people are saying that car i can stop easily more than a truck sorry truck i can stop more than a car you are saying is it right yes sir i will ask you to stop the truck and the car whom you can stop it for example both are traveling with the same velocity now whom you can stop car. easily car or truck sir car car, car. car. then Then tennis ball and football. You are saying uh, football. What is this? 